Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Instructor Slime and this is Daily Rambles. This is my third video of the day. Um, we're doing Season 7, Episode 9 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. called As I Have Always Been. So we saw that Daisy's the lake and Sosa was there um, with her. And the time drive basically overloaded and the flight system is fried in the Quinjet and they're in the time storm. And it's pulling them like a circle to a drain. And then Mac got blinded. Then Daisy put out the fire. And they're like 96 kilometers away from the center. And then the drive went off again. And a reset. And it's the same thing that happened. And get the title times two. Which was funny to me. And then we cut to where Daisy saves Mac. And on tops of Simmons. And puts out the fire. Then jumps again. Then another reset. Daisy w wakes up Coulson, and he's in one too, but for him, it's, um, first of all, she died, she went on a private vacation again, <laughs> and basically forgot everything, it's been 87 times, and it's been 14 times since she's been offed, and literally, it happens again, <laughs> and the time drive is basically sh um, short, sh short circuiting again, and then it goes off again, and then again, and then it's starting to get really kind of bad, and it happens again. And now they're at 79 kilometers, so every time they jump, it's closer each time. Then Daisy tries to change it, and now it happens again, and they're at 65. Then Deke tells her about the loop, and um, suggests taking out the implant, and... Um, <laughs> So Daisy and Coulson over, um, overhear that while talking to Simmons. And so they try to do it, and then Simmons can't breathe, and she's gone. And then it's another reset again. And then they try again, and then Daisy's in the room, um, and turns out it's gas. Uh, that happened, and so they're gone again. So um, it was deliberate, and they do it again. Now they're 48 kilometers away. And then they do it again. And then it's 41. And then they integrate um, Deke, Simmons, Enoch, Mac, and May. And they use Studio as a solution. And uh, then we, then it happens again. And then uh, Daisy talks to Sosa. And basically, um, let's see here. And then, uh, then he grabbed it. And then he... Uh, went on a private vacation, then it happens again. <laughs> so they do another reset. And then we cut to where um, Coulson and Daisy have a talk, and it's really emotional. And then that made uh, Coulson think, and they figure out it's Enoch. So, uh, <laughs> so they try it again, and then the test worked, and Daisy quit Enoch, then another reset. So she talks to Sosa this time, and um, he helps and tries to make an, um, like a distraction, and that was a fail, and so another reset. So Sosa starts Enoch again, and then fail, then it happens again, then a fail, then again, and a fail, and again, and a fail, and again. Then, then So Daisy talks to Sosa again, and um, he creates another diversion and tries to Enoch with the team. Then it happens again, so uh, Daisy kisses Sosa in the next reset. And they have 11 kilometers, so Daisy finally was able to remove the implant. And Enoch is the key. It's like an electrocon displacer component that all chromocoms have. And then we cut to where it's compatible, uh, so it's compatible with the time drive, but it's like the chromocom equivalent of their heart. Then we cut to where Simmons has a major freak out. Like, um, soon as the implant was taken out, she's like, oh my god, what I do, what I do, what I do, what I do. And then we go to another reset, and they go to the L&D lab, and they have less than a kilometer to be hit the center, and it literally will off them. So they have this massive debate whether to take Enoch's heart. So Enoch literally just takes it out of their hands, and he literally does it. He takes it out himself and gives it to the team. And then uh, Enoch is starting to go, and so Deke managed to fix the time drive. And then uh, Enoch again is going, and Daisy and Colson stay with them. And then basically says uh, the friends, her friends will be fine, but the team will be gone. 
and because he has seen the future so that made it kind of crazy for me and uh then the something about last mission and then he says Fitz is my best friend and he's gone then the jump worked and then we cut to where Nathan is training Cora with her moves and mentions uh little sister <laughs> And, um, that was the end of the episode. Uh, crazy episode. I really loved it. I gave it an A plus because, uh, there's two ways I go about that. One, I'm intrigued the entire time and I do not look at my phone. And I did not look at my phone. I was intrigued the entire time. It was a great episode. I love the different little possibilities that were happening within each jump. And each fail. I thought it was great. I loved it. The fighting was good. The storyline was great. And I'll sh I'm shipping Sosa and Daisy. <laughs> so, and the way he explains why he is with her, like he makes it, you know, very like he lets her know, <laughs> like I like you, basically. Like he likes to help people that um always tr they don't think about themselves when they're helping people, and always wants someone to be like a backup for them. So. And um, he's mentioned like The Rock specifically and stuff like that. So I really, really liked it a lot. It was a great episode. And I can't wait for next week either because Jiang will be back as well in the next episode. So that's going to be pretty cool. And so that's going to do it for this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down there. And don't forget to subscribe if you want. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.